Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, yeah, we will learn about S-parameter simulation in Advanced Design System 2023 and we will also learn about the tuning and optimization. So to that end, first let's go here, File, New Workspace, or you can also click here to create a workspace. So let's call this Tutorial and s -prom. And let's also make sure that this is selected here. Not required in this simulation, but you know it will be become important in later simulations. So create workspace, and let's select mill resolution. And first we will create a cell, new schematic. So you can go here, file, new schematic, uh, or you can also click here on this icon. So let's call this Q wave quarter wavelength transformer trans former quarter wavelength transformer create a schematic and what we'll do in this tutorial is we'll first go here and also select a transmission line so that will be our first introduction to transmission line as well so that's how you select a transmission line and specifically the ideal transmission line if you needed micro strip there are micro strip transmission lines here so we'll talk about that later on first let's go here t line ideal so that's what i grabbed here the ideal transmission line what you see here is the characteristic characteristic impedance of this transmission line, 50 ohm, then electrical length in degrees, and then the frequency at, or at which this transmission line uh, electrical length is defined. You can also actually go here, double click on this one and click help, for example, and get to know what are the other defaults parameters. So you can see here that generally it's a two port network by reference, by default this uh, the other uh, the reference line is ground, so that's why it is not depicted there. And you can see here Z is the characteristic impedance, is the electrical length, and reference frequency for this electrical length. So in general, for any element, if you wanted to know more details about this, is how you can be able to go. You will just double click on that one and click on this help button, and it will tell you more about the different parameters of that uh, various parameter of that element. So now uh, let's say that we have a, a problem where we wanted to match uh, some load impedance to a source impedance. So we'll go ahead and uh, do S parameter simulation. So first we'll put a source impedance here and then the load impedance here. So these are the ter terminal impedance that will always be required in any S parameter simulation. But here, since we our goal is to uh, design a transmission line or find the value of these correct value of these impedances here uh, so that um, it is able to match certain value of uh, source impedance to the load impedance. So you all know about the quarter wavelength transmission line. That's what we are going to use. This is quarter wavelength or 90 degree transmission line. So suppose our goal is to match a 25 ohm uh, resistor, pure resistor, to a 50 ohm source impedance. So our goal is to find what should be the value of this characteristic impedance of this quarter wavelength transmission line. So to that end, first let's go ahead and make this uh, connection here and this connection here. And suppose you want to have the central frequency at one gigahertz. So we will keep it at as such one gigahertz. So uh, we all know that there is a formula for quarter wavelength transmission line that the, the required impedance of this is a square root of this impedance here and this load impedance here. So a square root of 50 times 25 and that comes out to be 35.35. So I will just, first of all, put 3.35 and perform the S parameter simulation. And then later, later on, I will devise the, that to, you know, uh, introduce the tuning and optimization using this simple procedure, a simple example. So let's uh, first put S parameter tab here, S parameter con controller, and double click on this one. And this is the linear simulator. You can also perform the single point uh, uh, simulation if you just wanted to see your result at 1 gigahertz, but I will rather here perform the uh, um, linear simulation from a, free, a starting frequency of 0.5 gigahertz to 1.5 gigahertz. Just wanted to check the, uh, the bandwidth of this transformer and click 1 megahertz. Normally when you are working in uh, you know gigahertz range like so, um, or you can also, uh, you can take, uh, for example, 10 megahertz as a step and later on you can always come back and reduce this 
or you can select the number of points for example 101 points or 201 points so press ok so in general what you will do is you will mention your start frequency and the stop frequency and you will you can put 100 or 201 uh, number of points and that will calculate the step size itself so for example you can see here if I change this to 201 it will change the step size here so that you can all, always do and depending upon the you know the sharpness of the graph you can always change come back and change this and re-simulate your circuit so press ok so we are gonna simulate simulate this circuit from 0.5 to 1.5 gigahertz in a steps of 5 megahertz so the simulation is set up. We have the simulation controller. We have the circuit. The in the S parameter simulation, always this for a reference port, uh, the terminal we call it will always be required. So you can see this terminal is a reference to this ground. Or you can also select the terminal from here, this term, and you know attach a ground there at the second port. But normally I will use this term G. Oh, that's already reference to ground. So uh, once we have done that, just click Save button and hit, uh, you know, the uh, simulation uh, run button. Allow. Oh, I should have selected that, but no problem. All right. So it quickly simulated this circuit because this is ideal transmission line. It shouldn't take much, you know, much time. So I will grab this rectangular plot and plot S11 to see how much, uh, how good the match is, the reflection coefficient. So what you see that at one gigahertz we have perfect match. And if you wanted to find the 10 dB bandwidth, that's that's a lot because it's always less than 10 dB. In fact, I can go here and plot options and um, y-axis level, and I can auto scale from, for example, 0 dB to oh, not 0 dB, and in a step size of a step size of say 20. So 0 dB to negative 80 dB. That's what the my y-axis should be in a step of 20. And also, if you wanted to select log, that you can do sometimes. So press OK, but not here normally. So um, what you see here is that we have uh, this is the 10 dB line. So we have a lot of bandwidth in this transformer. If you wanted to check the 10 dB bandwidth, if you wanted to check, for example, the 20 dB bandwidth, uh, return loss bandwidth. So we can go here and put this cursor here, and we can also use the other cursors but normally i use this one put two two of them here and you can see where how much the bandwidth exactly you have uh, calculate the difference and that will give you the uh, the the difference between the two uh, two points and uh, you can calculate that difference to get the exact bandwidth, how much these, the uh, negative 20 dB return loss bandwidth is so what i will do is in this tutorial is I will stop it here. Oh, one more thing I wanted to say that later on we will learn about the S parameter simulation in the class, and then we will also we will sometimes we'll also use the Smith chart. So to plot the Smith chart, you just click there, and same way like instead of rectangular, you are going to use a Smith chart. So just put it there. So that's the Smith chart. Uh, we'll talk a lot more about the Smith chart um, later on. Uh, because we have not talked about this in the class so but you know this will become very relevant when we discuss this mid chart so let's save it and then we'll return back to this schematic later on and uh, here we use the theoretical formula to calculate the the required value of impedance to match these two to uh, you know load and source impedances but what we'll do in the next tutorial is we will this you know uh, find this value by tuning and then later on by optimization so I'll see you in a bit.